Hello and welcome to another episode of Three Meals. And in this episode, we're going into the Cookies and Cakes uh, DLC sandbox. And we're gonna make three pretty easy to make uh, recipes to bake donuts. We're gonna make bread and we will also make churros. We're gonna start off with baked donuts. I'm just gonna pin it over here. There we go. We can just scroll out like that. And as you can see, in the sandbox mode, you already have all these doughs here. I could just take this donut dough and be done with it, but that's not what we want to do. So what we're going to do is just yoink and toss those out. There's a trash can right there as well. Because we want to make it ourselves, obviously. You can even buy these uh, in the store, I believe. But what's the point in doing that? We're going to get 200 grams of butter first up. And we're going to go and smell that for 60 seconds. Let's get this one as well. One minute on the clock. While we're doing that, we're also going to get step number two done. We're going to just put that down here. Actually, we're going to get the pastry flour, 400 grams. Hopefully we can get that just right. There we go. And for the sugar, we're going to get the measuring cup, 150 grams. You don't have to do this like this, I just prefer to do it like this. So. And we'll add that to that as well. Alrighty. Now we need to add two eggs, because one egg is 100 grams. Don't ask me why exactly uh, you don't have to like, crack the eggs or anything. I don't know. We're also going to get some vanilla extract while the butter is almost done. Let's quickly run over there. Put that down and turn off the fire. While we're getting ourselves some salt, two grams of that. Just be gone. Alright. And adding in the melted butter. All right, that's in there. Now we need to use the uh, whisker. Um, however, sometimes that doesn't work. We'll see if it works this time. If not, we're just gonna go with the paddle and we have to mix all this. As you can see, it's not doing anything. So what we're doing right now is taking out that, turning off the whisker, putting on the paddle, and then trying it again. And there we go, now we have dough. For the next step, we have to get a pot and ask, add some whole milk and baker sheets to it. Let's just move you over there and get a pot. The milk is in the fridge, the yeast is in the fridge as well. There we go. Let's get the milk first. 250 milliliters. I almost did that correctly. I don't ever take measurements too seriously, even though in this uh, game mode it might done exactly all right we're trying to get one third of it now oh that is not good at all how much gram is, is that? 21 grams uh, okay well we're just gonna do that can't really do much about it unfortunately and we have to put this on the fire for 60 seconds as well when that 60 seconds is up I will be back with you We have just under 10 seconds left to go on the clock, so we'll just pick this up already and then continue to move. Alright, there we go. Turning off the fire, we have to add the mixture to the uh, bowl over here. So let's try and do that. There we go. And I have reattached the uh, whisk on here. Maybe it will work this time. Unfortunately, there is some issues with uh, 
the netting machines for me, personally. And that should be it, really. Um, it says it's just do. I don't know why, because as you can tell, I have done everything perfectly. But that is another thing that just happens sometimes. We're going to add all this to a uh, baked donut pan. There we go. And it will tell you on the pan itself what you need to do. It's two minutes at 140 degrees. So we're going to move over here to the ovens. It says 140 degrees, so you're just going to put that on there. And two minutes. There we go. And then when we close it, it will be going. Uh, we could add more, of course, but for the sake of this video, we're going to wait until this is done. And when that is, I will be back with you. Alrighty guys, we have about 15 seconds left on those uh, donuts over there. I added some sprinkle candies over here because we're trying to get uh, the picture to look like what we're making as well. Uh, when this is done it will just turn off, you don't have to worry about it uh, overcooking or anything and you can simply take out that pan. So you want to move it over here a little bit uh, because first of all you're going to need to get this one. Uh, you can take them out by pressing E. You don't have to be on the exact donut as you can see. You can simply go roughly. There you go. You get the spatula. And it looks pink, so we're trying to get it pink, right? It's a shame you have to do everything separately, but that's just how it is. Just make it like that. It still doesn't look like a donut if you ask me, but that is maybe just my personal opinion. All right, that's all six of them done. And of course, we need to get that uh, sparkle here, sprinkle, sparkle, sprinkle, same thing for me. And we'll just get that out. And then you can adjust the, uh, once you click them, you can adjust the size of uh, the circle by just scrolling your mouse like, really big, kind of small. I like to keep it a little bit smaller than the actual thing. But now it doesn't look like anything went on. It looks like it all went next to it. So we'll just make it bigger. Unfortunately, we have to do it like that. This is another thing I am not too thrilled about just yet with this DLC. It doesn't look like any sparkles went on it even though there is sparkles on there. As you can see, the special on it says 6% um, hashtag birthday, and that is because of the sprinkles. Now, we're just gonna get one of these rotating plates so we can pick all these up. And we will put those over here so they can be sold at a later point. All right, that is the baked donuts done. As it, you can tell, it doesn't say it is a baked donut. It says homemade. Don't ask me why, because we did these steps exactly. And that is just how it has been for me ever since this DLC came out. Now the bread, the bread is something else. The bread is pretty easy to make, but let's continue with that. Let's go and scroll back. All right, we are going to have to need an empty bowl. So we're just gonna empty that out. Just click once on it. If you click twice on it, you might break again. Don't do that. We need 500 grams of pastry flour. So let's go with that. Perfect. Now we need some salt and some yeast. And we still have yeast here. Um, we're gonna get the salt in first. I always want to do it exactly as it tells me to do it in steps Because that way I know for sure I'm not messing anything up Let's put you straight. All right, so here we still have uh, Let's say 80 grams and we need 30 grams. So we're just gonna need a little less than half of this 
that is 30. I actually definitely cut it right between. Alright, let's just try and see if we can slice apart. There, 28 grams. Perfect. The other one is 27. Alright. Now we're going to use the paddle again, apparently. So let's go with that. We're taking off that one. We're putting the paddle back on. Putting that on there. And as you can see, it's not a whole lot happening, but why would it? It's just flour with salt and yeast. So it shouldn't really have like a dough mixture already. So, so far, so good. Now, we're gonna add the water and olive oil to this same bowl. We have water here. You could get water from there, but why would you? When you have it in a bottle, and that's way easier to manage. 200 milliliters. Went a little bit over, that's okay. Olive oil, where is olive oil? That's peanut oil. That's rum, that's not what we need. Let's just get it from here. Voila. 100 milliliters of that as well. Oh, we went over a little bit. I was not paying attention. Still, it's okay. Alright, it says with the paddle, so we're gonna use the paddle. There you go. A little bit of bread dough. It actually tells me it is a bread dough this time. We need to get a round cake pan to put this in. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do it because I have never seen a round uh, bread really. I would basically, if it, if it was up to me, I would put it in one of these straight ones. Uh, of course, I don't see any right here right now, but you have straight ones as well. Uh, but for the sake of what it tells us to do, we're just gonna get bread dough and we're gonna transfer it into here. You can do one layer, you can do 7,000 layers. It doesn't matter. Um, but now it needs to go in there for roughly five minutes at 170 degrees. So make sure you know what you're doing. All right, so we're putting this to 170 and we're gonna use the clock at four minutes and 50 seconds. It's gonna be a little while and we're gonna wait for it. When that is done, I will be back with you. Thank you for your patience. Alrighty guys, welcome back. As you can tell, I did not just make this one. I also found the uh, straight pan over here. It didn't have to go in as long, so this one's gonna be done before this one, 14 seconds compared to almost two minutes. Again, you don't have to worry about the ovens really much. It is gonna turn off by itself. So, I've done this one. We're gonna wait for that one, and we're gonna take it out. As you can see, now we have bread in here. And bread, you do not have to decorate. Um, there's no reason to do so. Um, it's bread after all, unless you'd like to get freaky with your bread. That one will be ready, and uh, we will put it in the uh, sale area here after it is done. But I don't see any use to, you know, make it extra sparkly or stuff like that. Um, we will get to that one after, uh, after we're done with the third meal. So let's get to that. And the third meal is going to be the churros. And uh, let's pin that. And we're gonna just go through the steps. I already cleaned out the netting bowl, uh, but we don't have to start with the bowl. We have to start with a pot. So let's get the pot. We're gonna have to get 250 milliliters of water. So let's get that in there. A little bit too much it's all good we need 50 grams of butter one butter is 200 grams though so you're gonna have to cut it up into fours so roughly 
like uh, that, and then roughly like so. And we're gonna get the piece that is closest to 50 grams. Oh, perfect, 50 grams. Wow, I uh, didn't think I had it in me. Uh, we also need caster sugar, and that is not in those. That is over here somewhere. Um, over here, 13 grams of it actually. I tried to not get it on the uh, butter. And we have to boil that for 45 seconds. So let's put that on the clock. You can't put 45 seconds on here, so I usually uh, go with with 50. And I wait a little bit. And now you see it's 45 seconds, so then that's when I turn it on. Um, by now, this bread is done as well, so let's just get that out. Uh, we can pop that down here. Take it out with E. You can even put it in directly if you wanted to and place that on here. There's no more room on this tray for this piece of bread. 20 servings in that compared to four in that one. So if you ever have like an order, special order or anything, make sure you pay attention to that. Uh, you don't want to get too little or too much. Um, for now, we're going to continue with this. Um, we could already put some flour in here. Uh, we have unbleached flour that we need. So this is not in here right now. So we're just going to go down here and find the unbleached flour. There it is, and the timer is up. We have to go quickly, else it might just break. You don't want to have that. All right, so we're going to get the bleached flour in here, 400 grams. Just add it in there. If you're not sure about the measurements, just use the measurement cups um, like these. They are very easy, and you can never go higher than what you intended to have. Look at this water mixture with butter just make sure you empty it all out and there you go and again we need a paddle it's already on there it's good and it's, it's uh, turning into dough straight away it does tell me it is churros dough so we did good uh, even though we use a little bit too much water um, we're gonna need to add a little bit more though we're gonna need to add some vanilla extract and five milliliters a little bit too much, but it's all good. And one egg. I I wish they would have an animation where you know you actually have to crack an egg. Uh, you do have that little thingy over here, where the the yolks uh, and egg whites are being split, but you don't really have to do it. All right, we're gonna mix that as well with the paddle, and then you can get your dough it, it said it was churros dough before and now it tells me it's not which is kind of strange if you ask me uh, make sure you put on the churros attachment here and just take that dough from there um, you can put those all in here it's gonna have to click continuously you'll fill just over three rows with it But that is pretty interesting. It told me it was churros, and then I added stuff to it, and now it's not. So, tell me the reasoning behind that. I don't have it. All right, we should almost be done. We should have three more. And then it tells me it's done. All right, and on this one, it will tell you how long to fry it for. One minute and 50 seconds. So we're gonna get the timer, but first we're gonna fill this up and turn it on it's not in yet as you can see it's not lowered yet so we're gonna put the clock to 1 minute 50 seconds and then quickly turn these on and it will lower itself and when that 1 minute 50 is up I will be back with you Okay guys, we have uh, about 20 seconds left on uh, deep frying that. Um, over here, you, you want to make sure that you do take pictures of it. You can press P and do it. Just go like that. And that way your shop will be uh, advertised. Um, you want to check the hashtags of the day. None of what I made is really in here right now. 
but make sure that you follow the hashtags and just uh, make whatever has that. All right, let's get these out of here. And it is kind of strange because you have to pick them up one by one, um, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Can't really do much about it. We'll just take all of them and put them on a, a, a cutting board here because that is easy to carry. And for churros, you also don't have to um, add anything to them, really. You could, you really could, but if you look at the original picture, you don't see anything added to that as well. So we're just gonna leave them like so. Like I said, I try to keep the original picture in mind unless you go completely freestyle in this uh, DLC. That's your good right, of course. Um, I like to do that myself sometimes. You can make dough out of anything, really. You can get maple syrup with eggs and that will create a dough for you if you wanted it. Just try and follow the hashtags and um, by doing so, try and make as much as you can with those specific hashtags. You can even make a lot of dough uh, in advance. Uh, just make dough for everything um, and then eventually um, just sell everything in one day by... Oh, I, I turned those all down again. I did not mean to do I meant to do so and so. Let's get those up again. All right, so we have a cutting board full of churros here. And we're just gonna place those in here, like so. That is one easy way to do it. You could decorate them all, but I don't really see the point in doing that. You can add other ingredients as well. Like let's say they want a day where um, they want, I don't know, where is it? The nutmeg. When they want nutmeg uh, as a hashtag. Just add a little bit of nutmeg to every single dough that you make. Um, ginger. If you have a Christmas spicy or ginger day, just add a little bit of ginger to every dough that you make. You don't have to have it being called bread or donut. This is called homemade. This is probably called homemade as well. Yep, it is. But that's okay, as long as you follow the hashtags. For now, this is my three meals episode of cookies and cakes. We might make another one. We might go back to the normal sandbox. But for now, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.